All right, so we are at a stage in this deadline where some of you have written in to say, and I'm really impressed by this, by the way, that you have no less than like 6,500 Kindle books to download. Understandably, excuse me, understandably, if you have more than like, let's say 100 books, you're probably going to want to do something about that in a little bit more of a like easier way. There's a couple of ways that I have since discovered to download your Kindle books a lot more efficiently. And the first way is to utilize something. I'll link the reference video of this down in the description box. I do recommend that you follow that one step by step. But it does require scripting and installing like a third party plugin onto your Safari browser or your Google Chrome browser. And to be honest, it seems a little shady to me, but if I were desperate and desperate times call for desperate measures, if I really wanted to back up all of my books to be able to have them on a place that's other than the Amazon website cloud, then this is what I would do. I would do that. That's like the legal way, get it like downloaded. You're downloading them, they're your books, obviously. It's just a way, it's like a script that like goes page by page, like you click on each page and it will download all 25 books per page. So that's one way to do it. The other way, which again is questionably illegal, I, I think it actually is illegal. So just caveat emptor, okay? Like this is your warning, this is not strictly legal, but you could hook up your Kindle to your computer via USB, which you are allowed to do, and you can download them using Calibre or Calibre. I still haven't quite figured out how to say it. I know you guys have said it in the comments, but like you do realize like in the comments, I don't know what the pronunciation is. So like write it out, like is it, or is it Calibre? Like. Calibre. I don't know. But anyway, that's a way that I recently just discovered I could have done this whole time, which is really annoying, is because I have like the conversion tool and a way of having my books be my books. That's all I'm going to say about that. Then I just hooked up my Kindle to my computer right now and went to the device screen. It like automatically pops up. I select it. It shows me which books on my are on my Kindle that are not in my library because those don't have a check mark next to it. And I just clicked, right clicked on them and clicked add to library. And it was like downloading now. Well, that's easy. <laughs> Am I crazy or was that that easy? I mean, it's not done downloading right now, but that's like hundreds of books right there. And that's like way faster. Again, your mileage may vary. I don't know if you'll be able to do this, but if you have stuff on your Kindle device, that is a way to do it. If you buy books and you read them on exclusively on the Kindle app, I warned you guys a long time ago. I was like, why are y'all doing that? The best way to do it is on an e-reader. Now, I still, I love the Kindle. It's just the way that Amazon handles the Kindle that makes me irritated. And it's like, you could have a great car, but if the service sucks, you're probably not gonna buy that make of car again. You know what I mean? So anyway, this fire is dying. What's the point of having a cozy fire in the background of a video if it's not even burning? Come on, man. Ouch, I burned myself. All right, we'll give it a second for that to pop up, hopefully. Okay. Is it coming? No, it will. So you plug your Kindle into the computer. See if you can download it that way through Calibre. But if you can't, then you will download this plugin and it's called Tamper Monkey, which sounds legit. And then you paste that into there. And then when you're on this, the website that shows your content, which if you're in a different country, the video goes through this very clearly. You might have to change the URL, like the .com to like .co.uk or something like that. It's default is for the US Amazon. And then what you'll do is you will go in and you will see a green button and that green button will be like trigger script and you will click it and it will start auto downloading to the first Kindle that's listed in your devices or whatever. So you're gonna have to make note of that if you are planning on doing anything with the rights. Again, full disclosure, that is illegal. But if you're gonna be planning on doing anything with the rights, you're gonna to wanna to know what Kindle that is it's very annoying if it's like Christina's 26th Kindle. Well, which one is that? Well, you can go into your Kindle and you can look in the about info and figure out what it is. 
and then it'll also tell you the serial number on there. That serial number is a reference that you'll need with certain plugins like the DDRM plugin to be able to remove the encryption from the book that you purchased. So that's that's all I'll say about that, but that I thought would be helpful information as we are approaching the February 26th deadline. Kind of sucks, to be honest, that this is still happening. For some of y'all, it has been removed completely. And I don't know if that's because you've deregistered, like if you have a Kindle and you don't see this download to USB option, it's not gonna work for you. But I wanna make sure that you understand that you do have to have a registered Kindle to your account. So you have to be logged in to the account that has your Kindle registered and is the same account that you purchased books on. So obviously most people just have the one Amazon account like me. But if you don't, or if you've done them on different accounts or your parents' accounts or something like that, then it's going to be a little bit messy for you, a little tricky. So just keep in mind that that's what's going on, that's what you need to do, and if you have more than, say, 100 books, you're gonna need some time to sit down and do this, preferably before February 26, if this option is even still available to you, which hopefully it is. I hope you found this helpful. Make sure you check out the description box for all the links to the videos that I referenced, and happy downloading, you guys. I wish we weren't here, but this is the state of things. Thanks, Amazon. Make sure you like, comment, and share this video with a friend who you think might find this helpful, especially any fellow book lovers, your book club, bookish content creators. As always, if you are making a video about this, I would appreciate referencing this video with credit. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.